Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Amnesia, a machine for pigs. So last time what happened was we finally got out of that little area where the Compound X was. <laughs> I broke through the door and probably the most awesome accidental scenario ever. So now we're down in like the sewers sort of area. We need to drain these, uh, these sl I still don't know how to say it. I'm guessing it's slice, sluice gates, slice gates. I don't know. I'm not a fucking scholar. But we got one of them done. That one was right here. The second one, I'm assuming we're going to meet all sorts of opposition on the way back. So let's go check that out. Oh, God. I was really, really ruining this part of, of this because... Yeah, see, this is the gate that we need to open. We already drained one of them out. And the people... There's people in this water. or there's I don't even know if they're people, but there's something in this water that... We can't see it, and it's apparently, like, electrically charged at the same time, which is really troubling. So now we have to go back. There's obviously some way that we didn't go last time that we need to do that now. I'm getting so paranoid over this game right now. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm getting so paranoid. I just got done playing Haunted Memories and, like... The lighting source in that game is really sporadic. And by sporadic, I mean that it's really bad. So I'm kind of like paranoid that the lighting source on our lantern is going to go out. Fuck. No. Not now. No. Stay intact, please. I don't really want to have to run from something or someone right now. I really don't. Okay, so this is gate two. This is the gate that we need to get down. Gate 1's already been dealt with properly. Okay. Dude, I really hope they don't make us cross that at some point. They're putting that there for a reason. They're totally going to make us do it. I love how the... Con I love how... Ooh. It was kind of weird. kind of lagged for a second. I love how Gate 1 is open, and I get... In the, the area to open Gate 2 is in Gate 1. Oh, no. See? That's what I'm talking about. These little things. These little weird electric ghost fish or people. There was definitely something like this in the first amnesia in one area, where we were in this area that was flooded with water and there was a guy running around. Spoiler, by the way, for anybody that hasn't played that before, but it's been out for like three years, so I'd hope that somebody's played it by now. But there was an area where we were walking around in, in an area that was covered in water like that, and somebody was walking around with... And you couldn't see him, and they were just there, and if you didn't get the fuck out of the way, you were gonna die. Okay, this is the beginning. This is the very beginning of this area. I remember this now. So, we need to go someplace that we haven't been yet. And I'm assuming that's going to be down here. Because we have not been down here yet. And everything got a little bit heavier. Just now. What the hell? Why is this here? This is such a weird place for one of these. But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Pettinus, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Interesting. Oh, dude, I'm getting paranoid right now. Just, at one point or another in here, one of these, whatever's in this little shit lake, is just gonna come flying out of the water right in front of me, and I'm gonna... I am gonna lose it when that happens. I just know it. I just... I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I'm not going to, because I'm probably going to. It's just one of those weird situations where you want to say, oh, you know, I'm... I'm not gonna... I'm not phased by anything. See? It's, it's, it's happening, man. Who's a coming? Was in here. We have to go through here. That's the worst part, is that we need to go through here. We need to go this way. Yeah, see? This is where good old Sluice Gate 2 is. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby! 
would you look at that? Now they're both all good to go. So now we just need to venture brothers back our way to where we were at before. And that is where the shit is going to hit the fan, my friends. That is where the corn pone meets Mr. Carruthers. I don't even know what that means, but it does. That's where good old Bobby Flay is going to be meeting his maker. Mandis. Post-Diluvian. That's done it! Now I can enter the strange de decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear, where I can divert the remainder the rem yes, the remainder of this filthy torrent back to the th to the tame uh, to the God, I can't talk today, to the Tims where it belongs, or Thames. And clear the path to the center of the machine. Lovely. I'm sure you guys are probably laughing at me. Ooh, those guys know how to fucking talk. Well, you're right. You are 100% correct. Um, okay, so that's where that thing was. We need to not be near that. We need to go back where the things... Okay, this is this is two. This is where we need to be. I think this is... Oh! There he is! Here he comes! That's it, Papa. You're so near now. Let me through. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. Like I said, this this just gives me that weird reminder of Bioshock every time I see it. Shoot. Alright, so what the hell is this whole thing about? Oh yeah. Depressurizing the doors right now, and then we're turning the old Bill Plashkey machine on. Thank you. I don't really know why, like, are they, they're like, decontaminating me right now? Is that, is that what they're doing? I kind of always wondered what they were doing. I've been wondering that since the first time I went through a room like this. Is it like a depressurizing or a decontamination chamber or what in the god is it all about? Uh, oh, yeah. Just gotta turn the power off now. Thank you, and away we go. store for us now. It is a lot darker in here than it was in the other place. Of course. Whenever we get closer to all the important shit now. Oh. Oh, God. Please tell me. Just as long as there's no humanoids running around, I'm fine. I just, I don't really care. Oh, my God. That is a big one. He sure ate his Wheaties. And by Wheaties, I mean his slop. Boy, there's a couple of them. So what, is this guy like the fucking Taskmaster? Is that what's going on? Oh! He's violent. Yikes. Hey, Bill! Get back to work, you fucking idiot! But, sir, I've been working for 87 hours! I don't fucking care! I'm not paying you overtime for the- Oh, I'm not paying you overtime for this shit! You're not paying me at all! Wow, what in the hell is all that? Is that all slop? Is that what's going on? Or are those, like, other dead pigs that they're eating? Oh, gross. A nest of wretches. Dear God. A whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind. My instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am somewhere in this dank complex. And, and I am sure somewhere in this dank complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go about their dark business. And yet... Yet, I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike. And I will not think of what I have seen, of the chairs and the cages. I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. Well, you're going to have to think about it, because we're kind of in their playhouse now. I mean, we are we are in Pee-wee's playhouse now, and it is not a very not a very welcoming place to be. That's, that's for damn certain. Whoa, this is a weird door. Why would they have a door like that? That is fucking crazy. They are, either, they are really trying to either keep people out or keep people in. I don't know which one it is. And now we do. We got these doors everywhere now. Which one's going to open? Which one's going to be... What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. Remember, work together. Sleep alone. Fraternizing will not be tolerated. Huh? Why is that? What about when I have a sleepover? Why is there such a big problem with that? Okay, 
I take it. Oh, fuck. Fuck, no. No. Stay away. I don't even I don't care. Oh, no. I don't want him to see me. I need to get into one of these things right now. This one? Sure. Whatever. Is this the one I'm supposed to be in? It is today. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so... Well, of course there's blood in here. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't bother. You, you can't get to me right now. I'm not here to hurt you. At least not that I know of. Oh, he's sad. I think. I don't know if he's sad or not. Please tell me you can speak English. That would be awesome. Or some very broken sense of it. No? So wait, how did he get in here with these iron bars on the wall? They don't even look like they can open. He's just there. Kind of... Kind of makes you wonder how long he's been in there. Like, I got this weird feeling he's probably been in there since he was like an infant or something. Just because of the fact that, I mean, you can't open these bars, so he's probably been in there ever since he was a kid. Oh god. Oh god. Why do I have this bad feeling that he's just chilling right here by the door, waiting to slap me a good one across the old face? No, maybe not. Can I get in one of these things, please? Why do I keep hearing that? It sounds so close, but it's not. Yeah, see, and they keep on giving me this... Like, my lantern only flickers when I'm in that area. Actually, no, I guess it's doing it everywhere, isn't it? Oh, whoa! Weird. I think maybe it's just my uh, my hand icon. What is this? Okay, that's the same thing we just dealt with. See, this is a different area altogether, isn't it? go out here now. Oh boy. Now we're descending. Just peachy. Well, down we go. Down into the hogs, mead. Balls deep and helms deep. Here we go. What the fuck, dude? It's so dark in here. Jeez, I'm frozen. Oh no. Dude, I don't like big tunnels like this. This reminds me of, like, Resident Evil, or the fucking giant alligator. Oh. Holy shit. Please just tell me that was machinery and not somebody running in here. Oh, boy. Okay, I don't think we should go that way. That doesn't seem like that's the correct way to go. I don't like those pig screams, either. At least that's kind of what it sounded like. Oh, can't go that way. This is a very... First of all, this is a very large set of tubes. Like, what the hell is normally in these? I think that's what I want to know above all other things. It's just what the... F oh no, don't do that. Okay. Kind of freaked me out there for a second. Am I supposed to go down here, or what's... What's, what's the big deal? I think I am. Yeah, see, I was just here. Alright, well, I guess we're going down. Oh! Okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, what do they expect me to do? There's nowhere else to go. I mean, this is where we're technically supposed to be, I guess. I mean, that wouldn't personally hurt me if I were to go down one of those. You can definitely finagle your way down these things without it being that hard on you. I think as soon as we get down this little set of piping, then we'll, we'll call it good and realize how long we've been in this for. Come on, baby. More and more to it, isn't there? Alright, my friends. Well, we have run out of time for this episode. When we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, we gotta scale through these, uh, this giant, you know, series complex of pipes to try to figure out where the hell we're going. I mean, obviously we're getting closer to this machine that they keep speaking of, so hopefully next time we can uh, kind of inch a little bit closer to it without getting our asses killed chopped off and then fed to the pigs that were upstairs. 
So until then, everybody, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.